What's up everybody, Patastinky here, and you're tuning to see the replay. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a quick and easy way to farm that rare item, Solid and Flare. This rare item is part of a quest called The Sword Reforged, given to you by Lord Shax. I assume that you are already at this part, as I'll only be covering the method I use to obtain the Solid and Flares quickly, not the entire quest as a whole. To start, normally farming for Solid and Flares would take you hours. Lucky for you, this quick farming method will have you gathering Solid and Flares a lot sooner. It took me approximately 40 minutes from start to finish to gather all 10. It might take you longer or it might take you less time, that's just kind of how RNG works. At any rate, this method is very simple and has been around since May 2015. This method was also used to farm treasure keys back when the House of Wolves expansion first came out. As of the uploading of this video, the method still works, trust me, try it. Before we dive into it, let me start by saying you're looking for helium coils which spawn randomly on the moon. Once you collect a helium coil, they will turn into helium filaments in your inventory. You'll also notice that after collecting a helium coil, it'll say that on the upper right hand corner of your screen. After you collect a certain amount of helium coils, thanks to RNG, you'll receive a solid and flare. You cannot farm filaments on the moon from chests, collecting them from chests will not give you solid and flares. The trick is to get lucky finding a spot where the helium coils spawn in between two zones. Patrol the area for a bit and get familiar with where they spawn. In the video you can see that two helium coils spawn right next to each other. Where they spawn is very close to the zone Hellmouth, therefore once I collect the helium coil, I jump on the sparrow and head over to Hellmouth. As soon as the new location is shown on the bottom left of my screen, I turn the sparrow around, I head back to Archer's Lane where the helium coils are. The rest is self-explanatory. Collect your healing filaments, hop on your sparrow, head to the nearest zone, and head back to the coils. Alright guys, so just note that I did this on my own without someone on my fire team. Towards the end, once I gathered all 10 of my solid and flares, a friend did join, and subsequently a few minutes later, the location of the healing coils changed. Now I'm not sure if this is a result of him joining, or the healing coils just stay at a location for a certain amount of time. In my case, they stayed there for almost 45 minutes. The raised lighter exotic sword is awesome, and is well worth the time invested. If you find this video useful, please give it a like. Also, you can also follow me on Twitch and on Twitter at SeeTheReplay. And with that said, guys, see you later!